Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, the uh, 7th of December. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday the 8th, and I wanted to share with you guys um, the bags that's going to be going up in my Etsy shop tomorrow. Tuesday the 8th of December at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> uh, I live in Middle Tennessee, so I always post the, um, lately. <laughs> Last few updates I've been posting at 12 um, p.m. Central Standard Time. So that it's still, it gets people from, all the way from Pacific time and to Eastern time. <laughs> and then I have no idea about the time zones in the other countries. But, um, you know, it's not like early in the morning or late at night when I post the update. But anyways, I'm going to show you the totes. There are two of each of these go, uh, going up into the shop. And then I also have some uh, Happy Mail that I'm going to share. It's just um, cards and letters and things like that. And some stitch markers. And I did get some fabric, but if you want to see the fabric that I got, it is in my vlog on my second channel, which I will link in the description box below if you want to check it out. Okay, so the totes. Like I said, there's going to be two of each of these, and I forgot the measurements. I always forget that. I'll have to look it up. I think it's, um, I think they're about 17 inches wide and about the same long. <laughs> I can't remember, but, uh, there's going to be two of these ones. It's like a space, um... There's a string right there I got to trim. <laughs> They're not ready. I haven't even taken photos of them yet. But uh, I still got to do my last like quality check where I get all the strings snipped off and test everything out. But um, I'm pretty confident in them. Anyways, this, there's going to be two of these. <laughs> with uh, It's got different planets and different uh, stars and stuff on it. So it's really cool. The inside of this is just a teal color. They do have one snap. <laughs> I tried to match it as good as I could to the bag, the outside of the bag. So this has got a dark blue one. And they have the long handles and the tag on the side. And they do have a um, box bottom. <laughs> so there's one. It's going to be two of those. And actually in the new year, 2021, um, one of my goals for sewing is to put pockets in my totes. So after the new year, I'm hopefully going to be uh, adding pockets to the inside of the totes. And then the next print is this really cute bees print. I think this is so cute. Again, it's got the box bottom and the long handles. It also has the tail on the inside. Only a few, I think that's the only two bags that's got tail on the inside. And then the rest of them have white. But uh, then there's gonna be two of the patchwork prints. Two of the coffee stuff, different coffee sayings and coffee maker things. <laughs> Two of all these, I don't have to keep saying that too. And there is this cute farm print with the really cute little animals. And they have white handles. And then unicorns. I really like this pack. It's really pretty. <laughs> I love rainbows so much. And then there's gonna be this print. This is that vintagey print that I picked up. I don't know what it's called. I always just call it vintage something. <laughs> Because it's really pretty, like vintage. -y. It reminds me of those dishes that are like blue and white. They're things people have. <laughs> and I love this bag too. Cute Mickey and Minnie bag. So cute. They are big. I think it's so cute. And then Route 66 um, pinup girls. Super cute. I love this one too. Because I love uh, ocean anything. So it's like. Fish and turtles. This cute camping uh, scene. It's campers and it's got a lot of little dogs on it that are like camping. It's just really cute. And then this pretty teal cat's one with the flowers. See, there's some strings that I gotta snip off. A lot of times the strings just pull out. <laughs> but um, yeah, I gotta do my last quality check on them, which is where I just snip strings. And then the last one is this, oh, this is so pretty. I love how pretty this is. Succulents, but it's like pastel -y, I guess, and it's pink. <laughs> Alright, so that's all the bags that's going to be in the shop tomorrow, Tuesday, December 8th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> and um, that might be the last update this year. I thought about maybe trying to get some more drawstring bags made be before Christmas, but I really don't know. It really depends on how um, busy we are here as a family, you know. So um, that might be the last update, might, might be the last chance to get an L bag until the New Year sometime. 
and the next one in January will probably be mm, maybe the second or third week of January. I'm not rushing. <laughs> I'm trying to and actually one of my goals for 2021 in my crafting world is to do smaller bag updates because I've been so busy uh, sewing this year and trying to you know I've been putting out a ton of bags each update. I want to lower that back down to my smaller updates and um, maybe have more smaller updates and uh, like this this update is going to have 26 bags that's that's good for me but like uh, you know I've done a few this year that were 50 something 60 some bags and it's just too much for uh, just a couple of weeks of prep so uh, that's one of my goals in the new year is to slow down my sewing and uh, put out smaller updates but anyways I got some happy mail <clears throat> I think I showed one of these in a, a video on this channel I showed most of these I think on the other channel in my vlog but um, I'm gonna show them all <laughs> and if you've seen them before then you'll just get to see them again but I did get some fabric and uh, I showed that on the other channel and this is just the card that came with it I wanted to share it but if you want to see the fabric that I got gifted to me uh, head over to my other channel I'll link it in the description and watch that vlog and um, I'm actually gonna be getting three more boxes from her so I'm looking really forward to uh, that, but I feel really bad because the shipping is so high. But anyways, I also got this Christmas card right here, and this is from Teresa. I didn't keep the envelopes. I usually like saying where people are from, but I already threw away the envelopes. I was trying to like declutter paper stuff. But it's really cute Santa with a snowman. Mm, I love Christmas cards so much. We're actually not doing Christmas cards this year. We decided to skip it because of the cost, because I normally send out a lot of Christmas cards. And we get our Christmas cards printed and uh, all the stamps and all that. It would have just been too high. And with Devin missing a lot of November work uh, for medical reasons, uh, we're just not financially in the place to send out like 300 Christmas cards <laughs> this year. So we decided to skip the Christmas cards this year, which kind of sucks because I love getting and giving Christmas cards. But uh, I'm still getting a few, so I'm happy for that. And um, I'll just do it again next year when things are hopefully better. <laughs> but there's that cute one. Alright, and this one is from Barbara. She's the one that lives on a boat. And I know I showed this on my other channel. But it says, Happy Holidays. And it's from the Save the Manatees Foundation. Save the Manatee. <laughs> Super cute. This one is from uh, a member of my family. It's actually my great aunt and uncle. But it's just so pretty. I have to share it. It's got glittery, glittery snow on it. And I love the image of little white churches. I always... Like, I'm, I'm lucky to live in the south where there's a good trillion of these. And probably in the northeast, I imagine. Where, like, the original American churches were. But, um, I just love that image. You know, when you see them just tucked away in, in the heel sides, it's just so pretty. Just like this picture. And I actually think about framing this. Because I think this would fit in a 5x7 uh, frame. And it's just so pretty. And it says Merry Christmas. And then I got this one from Darlene. This is actually really pretty. Got like a, I can't remember what that effect's called. The little light things. I can't remember. I used to do that on my camera a long time ago when I had a nice camera. <laughs> can't remember, but I used to love taking pictures of lots. And it says believe. It's really pretty with the trees. This is the one I think I've already showed. Because of Thanksgiving card. But I'm going to show it again. It's from Rebecca. Actually, I have something from her in my P my P.O. box right now, but I can't check it today because Devin's at work. I'll get it tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure it's a Christmas card. <laughs> but this is from Rebecca. I think I already showed this. But it was in my my pile at Happy Mail, so I'm going to show it again. <laughs> but um, it's Thanksgiving card. And then I did get a little package from Jennifer. And she is over at Jedi Dragoon. And she has a, a, a YouTube page, which I'll link below. She has an Etsy shop and a Ravelry store. I tested two of her patterns uh, fairly recently, within the last few weeks. And uh, she sent me... I had liked these on her Instagram. I, I believe it was her Instagram. And... Um, she apparently decided to send them to me, so she sent them in a cute little organza bag. But it is some stitch markers that she made. I don't have a fancy camera, so it won't, like, focus. <laughs> but this one has Hello Kitty on it. And this one has a little heart that says Made With Love. And then this one has a little key that has, like, a Mickey Mouse head on it. And that reminds me of Kingdom Hearts, the game, which, you know, we love. <laughs> really pretty pinks and purples, and there's some blingy ones on there. Just really cute stitch markers. And now that I've showed them, I can hang them on my stitch work, stitch worker, <laughs> stitch marker hanger thingy so that they can go into the rotation of being used. <laughs> I keep every stitch marker people give me. And actually, when I was putting on my Christmas tree this year, I found a Christmas ornament that had stitch markers hanging on it that I forgot were on there. And so I got to take them off of that ornament and put them on my 
my little thingy. I'm gonna have to make a bigger thing if people keep sending me stitch markers, which I love. I love using them, and I love using different ones. And um, so I like to cycle them through and try to give each one of them use. <laughs> and uh, it's just fun to get little trinkets like this from people. But yeah, so that's my Happy Mail, other than the fabric, which is in my room under with all my other fabric. I don't want to go get it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I got some more Happy Mail coming. I just have to go tomorrow, Tuesday, to check my P.O. box. I got, um, I got two packages coming tomorrow, but they're Christmas gifts. One's for Jesse and one's for Devin <laughs> and his, um, uh, father, his father, my father-in-law. They're in the same package because I ordered them from the same Etsy shop. But, um, I just got Devin a travel coffee mug because he keeps using mine <laughs> to take coffee to work. And so I wanted to get him his own. <laughs> so, um. That's, that's the only thing I was able to get him this year, but I think he'll like it. Anyways, um, but I do have cards coming. I've seen a few. I've seen Saturday and then Monday today that I have cards in there, and I can't wait to get it on because I love Christmas cards. I saw one from Carrie Penny and the one from Rebecca, and there was a few other ones that I couldn't see the, ad, the person's name on the little picture that they send you, but I'm excited to get them and see them. But anyways, check out the Etsy shop. I'll, it's be linked below also, and favorite the shop so you can get notifications from it, and the, those bags will go live. Tuesday, December the 8th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I believe that is, that'll be 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, be 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 9 a.m. Alaska Time, and 8 a.m. Hawaii Time. I'm pretty sure because it's just an hour different. But, um, and I have no idea about uh, everything else in all the other countries. <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about their time zones. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's everything for today. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I still haven't uh, opened my Vlogmas gifts for this morning. I, I normally do that first thing in the morning because I'm excited like a little kid. And it's taken all my willpower not to just rip into all those packages. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to restrain myself. I can't wait to, like, um, get closer to Christmas and start getting the bigger ones. Because, <laughs> like, the first few days are the smaller ones that Rebecca wrapped up. And then they're, like, bigger towards the end. So I'm excited. Some of them feel like books just looking at them. And I'm excited to see what books they are. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm going to be good and not open them. And I guess that's everything. I've been blabbing. <laughs> but I will see you guys in another video. Also, check out my other channel. The vlog channel. Uh, I put up a new vlog a couple of days ago. And I'll be putting up another vlog, actually, tomorrow. Not, probably. Or probably Wednesday morning. Because we're going to make cookies tomorrow. We weren't able to the other day. Because apparently you have to refrigerate cookie dough for a really long time. Before you, um roll out and cut it and uh, it was already in the evening when we were going to make them so we're going to wait till tuesday when devin's off work again to uh i'm going to make the dough earlier in the day so that we can make the cookies and then tuesday night we're going to go to the town next to us they have a park with a big christmas decoration display and it does timed music with the lights <laughs> and it's free so you just you show up every it's the top of the hour between like five and i think ten for like 15 minutes it does the display and then an hour later it does it starts it over so we're going to go try to look at that if the park's not too full uh i'm thinking it won't be too full if we show up earlier because normally last year we went a couple times to see it and most of the people were there at like eight and nine i guess after you know people get home from work and school and all that so um i'm hoping maybe we'll get a good time slot where we can get a good seat on one of the benches that's not surrounded by people <laughs> but we'll see and of course i'll take some video clips of that and some photos but uh it'll have music over it so i'll have to put my own music on top of that to not get copyright <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna hop off here now and i'm gonna get this video up for you guys so you can set your alarms or whatever whoever wants to buy some bags and uh yeah that's it <laughs> i guess